Top Things to See and Do in Nicaragua. Relax in San Juan del Sur, a hit with surfers and backpackers, San Juan del Sur is the most popular beach town in Nicaragua. The beach itself is in a great setting and enclosed by prehistoric volcanic hills. It's the biggest backpacker spot in the country and you'll find a lot of cheap bars and hostels here as well as a constant party if you want one. Stay at Pacamama or the Naked Tiger Hostel, and tell Megan I say hi. Admire Colonial Granada, Granada has some of the best preserved colonial architecture in Nicaragua and due to the recent investment in tourism, it has become very popular among travelers. Take in the magnificent buildings in the Plaza de Independencia, hike a nearby volcano, and kayak the nearby islet. Be sure to eat at Kathy's Waffles, Garden Cafe and one of the vigorant stalls in the park. Kayak around Las Islas. Las Islas is a chain of small islands on a lake near Granada. Kayaking tours give travelers a chance to experience some nature in a calm and relaxing setting. A two-hour trip generally costs 33 US dollars. Go fishing, both the Caribbean and the Pacific border the shores of Nicaragua and fishing here is pretty popular. Off the coast, you'll find a myriad of fish, some up to about 200 pounds there are also chartered trips around the volcanic islands within the lago. Learn to surf, Nicaragua may not be the first destination that comes to mind when you think of surfing, but it's a huge pastime here due to the year-round waves and warm water. There are plenty of surf schools that offer tuition and equipment higher around the towns of Rivas and San Juan del Sur. Expect to pay around 10 US dollars per day for board rental and 25 US dollars per hour for lessons. Visit Old Leon, the ruins of Leon Viejo date back to the 16th century and are a short trip from Leon. The site is Nicaragua's only UNESCO World Heritage listing and is one of the oldest Spanish colonial settlements in the Americas. While this isn't some lavish ruin site, it's really the only place to see and learn about the country's founding colonial past. Explore the Masaya Markets The main attractions in the city of Masaya are two craft markets, the Mercado Municipal and the Mercado de Artesanias. Every Thursday night at the Mercado de Artesanias is the night of revelry featuring folkloric dancing, local food, and music. Attend the San Sebastian Festival, every year near the end of January. People in Dariamba have a huge celebration in honor of San Sebastian, the city's patron saint. Festivities officially run the 17th to the 27th and include colorful parades, a huge feast, and plenty of traditional music. Surf down a volcano, what's the difference between sandboarding and volcano boarding? Cerro Negro, a young and active volcano, offers tourists a chance to board down its graveled slopes through an organized tour. You will have to hike up to the top, which takes around an hour, so be prepared for a climb and to get dirty. A half-day outing costs about 30 US dollars. Enjoy the Corn Islands, on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, the Corn Islands are a gorgeous place for a vacation retreat. Most people come here to snorkel, scuba dive, to fish, and to relax. Small boats will take you between the different islands. It's the best chill-out spot in the whole country and is less crowded than San Juan del Sur, though still pretty popular. Hike Miraflores, located in Estelian northern Nicaragua, this national park was the highlight of my trip. Wander through a beautiful cloud forest, around small farms, and over rivers and waterfalls. You'll hardly run into any other tourists, it's like you have the whole jungle to yourself. You can take day-long or multi-day treks to the park. The multi-day trips enable you to stay with local host families in small communities. There are also programs to help you learn to farm or teach here. I did a one-day trek, 15 US dollars for two meals and the mandatory, very helpful guide, which started at 7 a.m. and concluded around 4 p.m. Bonus, all the money from the tours goes back into supporting the community. Hike up a volcano, there are a lot of volcanoes in the country and hiking them is a popular activity. It was the main reason why I headed to Nicaragua, and I ended up hiking three. The two volcanoes on Amtpa are popular day hikes. They're a lot more challenging than you'll be led to believe, but worth it, look out for monkeys. Leon is probably the best place to do some hiking, though, 
since there are a lot of volcanoes there. If you're looking to get your hiking fix, this is where to do it. The most popular volcanoes are Cerro Negro, Volcano Boarding, Telica, where you go for sunset hikes, San Cristobal, the longest and hardest, and Momotumbo, second hardest. Make friends with the stone man, Alberto Gutierrez has been carving animals and symbols into the stones outside his telly for decades. He had a vision of angels who told him to carve, and in an effort to end his alcoholism, began carving every time he craved a drink. He's not easy to get to, but when you find him, Alberto will welcome you into his home, give you fresh fruit, and show you all his stone carvings, which he says were inspired by God. He doesn't speak any English, so if you don't speak Spanish, just nod and enjoy the carvings. He won't ask for money, but donations are welcome.